morning students. Myself, Susmita Rai, Assistant Professor, Gumjur Bungla College. And today, I like to welcome you all to the online classes for subject geography. And I would be teaching you all demographic transition model from your chapter, population and settlement. So, uh, let's get to the concept first, okay? Let's get to the little understanding of what is demographic transition and what is the background of development of demographic transition model. So, demographic transition, it is a model that shows us about the differences that occurs in the population patterns to historical past, okay? So, if we see, this is here, let, let us see this uh, line graph over here. So, in this horizontal axis, what we have? We have years and in the vertical axis, we have population in billion and this graph that I am showing you all is the historical global population estimates from year 1550 to 2050. So, here this line graph is depicting, uh, you can see this line graph, right? So, if we see this line graph, what we can find is the world population was growing steadily till the year 1800. But after 1800, what we can find is the population of the world has been increasing rapidly. Okay. So, here the world population reached its first 1 billion mark in the year 1804 and the next uh, it tripled into 3rd billion or 3 billion in the year 1959. Again, it doubled into 6 billion in just the time span of 40 years that is in 1999. And in today's time, that is in 2020, the world population or the world is inhabited by 7 billion people. Through this line graph, what we can find is population has growth or grown steadily till the year 1800 and after the year 1800 what we can find is population has grown rapidly. The world reached its first 1 billion mark in the year 1804 and it tripled in the year 1959 reaching 3 billion mark and that third billion population doubled into 6 billion mark in just 40 years of time span in 1999 and in today's era or today's time that is 2020 our earth is inhabited by 7 billion people. So what does this line graph depicts to us? It shows that the size of the population has been changing constantly. It has been changing. This line graph is depicting that the world population or the size of the population of the world has been changing from time to time. Like if we see in the year 1550, the population was very less. It was below 1 billion mark. And if we see today, that is in the time, in this present time, that is 2020, the world population is 7 billion. So size of the population is changing, right? And these size changes in the size population is caused by the changes that occurs in the two demographic attributes and that two demographic attributes are birth rates and next one is our death rates. Now we need to understand what is birth rate and what death rates are. So birth rate refers to the number of live births that take place in a year per thousand of population. Similarly, death rate refers to the number of deaths per year per thousand of population. So the changes in this birth rate and in this death rate and its effect on the total population size of a country can be shown on a model and that model is known as demographic transition model. So demographic transition model, we can simply define it as a model that describes population changes over time. Like we have seen, with the span of time and period, the size of the population of a country changes through stages as that particular country 
develops socio-economically. This model describes uh, population patterns of population changes through historical past. Now, this model or the demographic transition model is based on the interpretation that began in 1929 when the American demographer Warren Thompson American demographer Warren Thompson noticed or observed changes in the patterns of the birth rates and death rates in the industrialized societies since the past 200 years and so. Since then, this model has been elaborated and expanded by many others too. According to Professor Haggett and many other demographers, there are four stages of demographic transition. So, here you are here you can see this is the demographic transition model or the diagram of demographic transition model here in the horizontal axis phases or the stages are given stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 then in the vertical axis you can see birth and death rates per thousand per year students now we are going to discuss about each stages of the demographic transition model First, we are we will be discussing stage 1. Stage 1, it is the longest phase among all the four phases of the demographic transition model. In this stage, birth rates are high and stable, whereas death rates are also high, but their nature is erratic due to variable food supply and epidemics prevailing in that period of time in that particular country. And since birth rates are also high and death rates are also high, population growth is almost stationary or insignificant. Now, there are certain reasons behind the high birth rates in this stage. These are number one, lack of contraceptives. Now, contraceptives are the methods that are used to control the birth. The high birth rates in stage one is due to the fact that such as lack of contraceptives, um, children were considered as an economic asset, the more the better. In most of the poor communities, what we can find is more children are seen desirable. They want more children so that those children can be used in the use for work in the family farm. Now, there are also certain reasons behind the high death rates in the stage one. And those reasons are the high death rates are due to the factors such as lack of improved healthcare, lack of hygiene, lack of sanitation, wars, epidemics, and lack of proper education in that period of time. Almost over 200 years ago, all the countries of the world were in this stage of demographic transition. This stage occurs in the agrarian societies where population density are low or moderate, general productivity level are low, non-agricultural sectors development are at its infancy, urban development are limited as well as industrial limited, industrial development are also limited. Large families were considered as an asset, life expectancy was low and masses were illiterate. In this time, it is difficult to find any country in the world in the stage 1 of demographic transition and this stage is in no more existence since death rate has been declined and birth rate has been sharply raised. Now we are moving towards the stage 2 of the demographic transition and in stage 2 birth rates continues to remain high and death rates begins to fall. Now there are certain factors that leads to the decrease in the death rates in this stage of demographic transition and those factors are like improved healthcare, improved sanitation, improved hygiene and improved food supply and storage. Now, if we move back to the stage 1, what we can find is lot of people in stage 1 used to die because of hunger or because of starvation due to the inadequate supply of food. But in the stage 1, people switch to 
intensive agriculture from subsistence agriculture that's why there are a huge surplus production of the food crops that can feed more people than before key developments in improved food production and storage include things like agricultural revolution in the 18th century refrigeration invention of refrigeration system for the storage of perishable food products tractors replacing traditional plow high yielding varieties of seeds and modern irrigation methods all these in turn also brought down the rate of infant mortality rate now infant mortality rate refers to the number of deaths per thousand years now we are moving towards the third stage of demographic transition in this mo in this stage birth rate starts to decline death rate continues to fall and the population growth is so slow population growth population continues to rise but the rate of growth of population slowly slows down now there are certain reasons behind the continuous decrease in the death rates and these reasons include overall development of high standard of living and better sanitation and hygiene which in turn also leads to the decrease in infant mortality rate the declining birth rates in stage 3 are attributed to the factors like availability of contraceptives since 1960s contraceptives are widely available increased literacy and more women entering into the men power is delaying the people marriage which in turn shortens the woman child bearing age or years in some places both rates runs parallel to the number of industries and resource creation these states can be found in the countries of eastern europe countries of latin america and some of the countries of southeast asia now we are moving towards the fourth stage of demographic transition and in the fourth stage of demographic transition birth rates are low death rates are also low and the population growth is stationary population growth or the stabilized population growth this stage or the fourth stage of demographic transition is also known as the stage of zero population growth most of the urbanized countries of the world or most of the developed countries of the world are in this stage of demographic transition mode for example australia new zealand the united kingdom and the united states these countries are highly urbanized they have strong economics highly educated and skilled people and strong healthcare system after discussing all the stages of demographic transition what we can find or what we clearly see is demographic transition model br brings country back to the same position as in the earlier stages for example we can see here in stage 1 population growth was almost stationary and in the fourth stage of demographic transition population growth was also stationary but there are certain differences which we cannot neglect number 1 in sta in stage 1 birth rates are high death rates are also high but in contrary in the fourth stage of demographic transition birth rates are low and death rates are also low now next difference what we can find is the total population in the stage 1 is less there is a little number of total population in the first stage but in the fourth stage of demographic transition population growth is there but it is uh, it is very slow and not alarming now we are going to discuss about the present status of india in demographic transition model presently india is in the second stage of demographic transition with a tendency to move or shift towards the third stage of demographic transition now what are the reasons for india having high birth rates are due to industrialization uh, advanced medical facilities developing technological know-how and decreasing death rates now according to census 2001 india had 
the decadal growth rate of 21.34 percent. And according to census 2011, India has the decadal growth rate of 17.7 percent which suggests that the decadal growth rate of India's population is decreasing. So, it refers that it means that India and the future have tendency to shift from second stage of demographic transition to the third stage of demographic transition. However, it is yet a longer process or it will take a longer period of time since the fertility rate of the country is not appreciably low. Students, now I have completed my class for today but before wrapping up my class I would like to give a brief gist of the class or the things that we discussed in the today's class. So today we discuss about the demographic transition model. Demographic transition model is that model that describes population changes over time. It has four stages, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. Stage 1 with high birth rate, stage high birth rate, high death rate and almost a stationary population. Stage 2 you can see over here, stage 2 with continue, birth rate continues remaining high, death rates beginning to fall and population growth that is rapid increase of population. In fact, second stage of demographic transition is the stage of population explosion and in the third stage birth rate starts to decline, death rates continues to fall and the population growth is slow population growth and finally in the fourth stage birth rates are low, death rates are low and the population growth is stationary population growth and at last we saw that India is in India is in the second stage of demographic transition with the tendency to move or shift to shift to the third stage of demographic transition but only after curbing its growth or the its natural increase. So this is all for the class today. I will be teaching you all all the topic from the same chapter in the next class. Till then stay safe, stay home. Thank you.